I would say this, any theory on the origin of life on the Earth, or any other planet as far as that's concerned, is a fairy tale. A fairy tale, pure and simple. Life from non-life, apart from God's direct intervention, is a fairy tale. This is kind of typical of our creationist friends. We usually come up with a conclusion and then try to look for the reasoning for it. Also, life from non-life is a fairy tale, while life from dirt is not a fairy tale. But despite that obvious truth, evolutionists continue to build their supposedly scientific case on a foundation that virtually rules out everything that follows after it. Comes after what? Evolution's still happening to this day, dumbass. Evolution teaches that energy, such as lightning or heat, plus matter, can occasionally create new life. I know I must be the only person who ever pointed this out, but I think you're talking about abiogenesis and not evolution. They're not the same thing. Abiogenesis is the science that is not well studied enough that is trying to explain the origin of life or possible theories for it, while evolution is the extremely well established science that explains the diversity in organisms. Yet our entire food industry rests on the fact that this can never happen. If we examine a jar of peanut butter, it contains matter and is exposed to light and heat. But we never find new life inside unless an outside life contaminates it. And the reason they're showing mold and an ant in here is to try to trick people into thinking that even if there would be life in a jar of peanut butter, it would definitely look like mold and it would be clearly visible. So the entire food industry would be ruined because if there would be life in a jar of peanut butter, it would be covered in mold and would be rendered unedible, which is a total load of bullcrap. Besides, abiogenesis does not say that light and matter are enough to create life. Holy fucking shit. If the theory of evolution was viable, then I should, occasionally, by subjecting this to energy, end up having new life. Now we go down to the store, and um, if, if I open this jar of peanut butter, maybe not often, but on some occasion, I should find new life inside. And so... He's now going to demonstrate how creation scientists perform scientific experiments. When we open the jar of peanut butter, we look in there, there's no new life. How disappointing. And, and, and aren't you glad, okay? Now, um, you may smile at this, but hopefully you'll never forget it, because you and I conduct, uh, collectively, over a billion experiments every year and we've done that for virtually a hundred years so according to your bogus creationist math science says that the chance of life happening on its own is one in a hundred billion right and we never encounter new life in fact the entire food industry of the world depends on the fact that evolution doesn't happen rather than a microscopic organism, which even if it did happen in a jar of peanut butter, you probably ate it.